All right, now, like I was telling you before, on the high anchor, on the 2-3 anchor, all right, sometimes they're going to uh, start taking that stuff away. So run it here. Like, let's go ahead and swing it to the first side. Let's do this again. Catch it on the exchange, okay? Again, point guards, make sure you guys, you guards stay catchable, okay, but in scoring range for sure, okay? Because you always can catch way out, but then she can sink down and take stuff away. Now, we've done this for a while, okay? And Big Caleb's figured this out. And he's not going to let you anchor him. He's going to start cheating down here. He's going to say, all right, make a beat. So what he's going to do, we call this, we call this sailor, okay? What we let him going to do is he's going to come to this spot and he's going to get the pass. And we're going to let him come, okay? And he's usually a big dude. He's usually in a 2-1-2. Two -two, they're playing it because he's slow and he's big and he's covering just the lane because he can't move out of that lane, right? We're going to let him come. We're going to get him the ball. He'll probably come a little bit late, okay? As that's happening... So this depends how they're playing this. A lot of times we'll sprint you to the corner just to keep occupied. Like sprint look, look like you're looking for something there, okay? But for right now, you can stay, stay here. That's just an option. But what you're going to do is, after you've let, her slid, let, her, let them slide past, okay? Go ahead. I'll let you slide, sprint to the corner so you stay with. You're going to sprint ball screen right here, okay? You two are doing the exact same thing you did before. We're ball screening. I'm getting low. What's left? Okay, get over. Yep. Boom. Boom, boom, right on the back side. And that's been really effective for us against zone. Any 2-3, really, because even if, go back again. Let's go ahead and run through that. I'll tell you in a second why I tie my shoes. Swing it. Get them. There we go. Screen. Crossed. Right. And, and I'm telling you, what's your name? Carly? Yeah, Carly's probably not coming all the way across to cover that. She's probably stuck on that thing. And if she does, it is going to be an on-the-line three. It's going to be wide open on that. And you'll get that attacking. And you get it, it really puts them in a little bit of a conundrum there of how to do that. All right? Okay, let's go ahead and run through that a little bit. Um, let's get a second side sailor. Let's, let's not hit the first side. Let's get a second side sailor here. Here we go. Got it. So, no, no, get a second side. You're still anchoring them. Here we go. Now you get them, let them come. Now go get them right away. No, 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 no. You're going to, yeah, and we wouldn't throw that one hand bounce pass anyway. You're catching on that. You're catching, rip, you wait for him, you rip, and you are just got to be tough. You're driving through here. We teach a move a lot. Give me the ball here a second. I'm going to try this with two microphones. All right. When I get the ball here, when I'm driving, we do a lot of stuff off of two feet. We use one foot for when I got a guy beat. I'm driving. Get on my right side. Get on my right side. When I'm driving down the lane here and I'm extended like this, that's when we use one foot. But when I'm going to the lane, okay, through here, Okay, I'm driving in here. This is where I want to use like a Shawnee one. I do my hop, get the ball elbows up, the ball and finish. When I'm going through hands in contact like that. So we want our elbows up and we're trying to hop through that contact rather than one leg in it, okay?